Hello everyone, it's Diane. I'm going to be working on four Traveler's Notebook style of journals. I think they're slightly larger than a Traveler's Notebook, so they probably wouldn't fit properly into a holder. These would be the inserts. Um, but I'm using 8x8 papers and I just didn't cut them down. I folded the 8x8 papers and so I made the covers to be a little bit larger than that. But what I want to do right now is make something with my um, slide mounts again. And I'm hoping that they're going to end up being a frame to decorate the front of these covers. So let's just start by doing some Mod Podge on these. I've painted and stamped them before. Today we're going to Mod Podge. I've got tissue paper that I want to use. This one just has music notes on it, and I like that, so we'll start with that. This red printing will show through, <coughs> excuse me, will show through, but I am not worried about that because I'm going to fold it over and put a picture in there. I could just cut it in half and just have one, but maybe I will. I was thinking I I wanted the thickness. I think I I think I do want the thickness of having it doubled like that on the cover. So anyway, this red part will be on the back, so we won't see it. So I'm just gonna. This is gonna be a mess because of the hole in the middle. Just gonna cover it with Mod Podge and then. Put this music tissue paper down on it. This should be quick and easy, right? Do I want to fold it over? I probably do. So I'm going to trim it. We should put Mod Podge on the front. Forgot that part. So I'm going to let that dry and I'll do another one. We have this paper. I want something that's going to go nicely on these. I have this one, but I also want it to show up. This might show up on this one. So far so good. It's moving along well. I didn't do a sample, so I'm learning right in front of you. It's getting really sloppy right here. I think I'll do this one. It's got some gold. Really pretty. I didn't leave I didn't 
didn't leave enough to wrap. I was just trying to put that pink flower where it would show, but don't know if I can. I'm going to have to cut the centers out too. One more. I've been packing in here today. Packed up my eight and a half by eleven cardstock, my solid colored cardstock. And a bunch of other stuff. Trying to think about what I might need because I'm not done creating. But I'm packing up stuff I'm pretty sure I won't need. wipe those scissors off. <clears throat> Perhaps I should have had another standby project to do while these things dry, because of course they're not dry. So what can I do while I wait? I have an idea. that aside, get my tissue paper out of the way. I have images, so I can select images to put within the, the frame, and I want to just embellish with these Tim Holtz stick things that I've had for a long time. Oh, I can show you the postcards that we did in the previous project video. I did four postcards. These are not for this project, although maybe I'll use them in them. We'll see. Um, I like the way that the black and white images stand out against these really colorful napkins. And these have the postcard backs, so I was making postcards. I'm going to put them under some heavy books to help flatten them out better. But I really love the colors of that napkin, and the black and white looks really good. And then this one is black and white on a black and white napkin, or cream, cream and white. But I really like the way this one looks. And this one is a colored picture on a colored napkin, and that one looks pretty because the colors go together. So those are the four postcard things that I made the other day. What I'm thinking I want to, I can do while I wait for those things to dry is pick out some laces or doilies or something to put on the fronts of these. So bear with me. that have this pattern on the front. I'm just going to take another slide just so I know the size. Okay, that would look good. 
um, but I want more. I bought these at a flea market and they were sealed up in this plastic. I don't know how to open it. Yeah. I got in. I've had these for quite a while. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just playing. Better than watching Mod Podge dry, right? You can pick out some images that I want to use and get them cut. I think this would be a good one. <coughs> that pencil downstairs and sharpen it. I keep grabbing the one with the broken lead, of course. I got all of these photos from the Etsy shop, Tailor Made Journals, and I it's called Antique Photos or Vintage Photos or something. Um, I think I want a little, um, let's look for some coffee dye tracing paper. Let's see if I have some in my bag here. I don't have full sheets. Let me see if I have a scrap. This is a bag full of coffee dyed scraps. Let's see if I can find some tracing paper in here. Voila. that there. I'm just going to scrunch up the edges of this. I'll just wide the whole thing up. 
Like I said, I'm just playing, trying to see what results I can get from different things. That looks better. thinking I want the top open because I'm gonna put a pin in there but I could do it this way just have the fold at the bottom so that I could have a moth I don't remember where this digital came from about right. Let's see, I like this one. These um, digitals from Tailor Made Journals, they print, you can get them, you can print them in two different sizes. So this is the smaller size, which comes in handy for little projects like this. Okay, so we have all four pictures selected and cut down to size. Now I can pick some more doilies and stuff. This one isn't looking too bad. This one has a lot on it. I think I put extra on that one. But maybe I'll be able to do the first one at least on this video. All right, let's get this bird. I think the bird one's gonna be trickier. Do I want a lady or a moth? I think the moth might fear for its life. Birds eat moths. I think they must. So maybe I'll do the moth a favor and not put it on there with a bird. So I'm not going to be able to have as much on because I don't want to cover up the bird. I saw my house today. It's there couldn't go in it. 
and I'm going away next week. I hope I can go in it before I go away to see the layout because I am not positive of... She sent me the floor plan of this double wide <clears throat> and I've been studying it and trying to figure out what I can put where, like how much I can take with me. And today she showed me, we were when I went to see her, to talk about you know what what was happening when and everything she opened up the folder and showed and you know we I saw the floor plan I said that's not the floor plan you sent me but I think I might like it better but I don't know which one she did she wasn't she couldn't figure out which one was there and we can't go in it yet it's in place but it doesn't have the steps leading up to the door it's not finished you know setting up so so I'm hoping I get to go in, actually go in and see what I'm getting before I go away. But either way, I'm taking the double wide. It's going to be my home. So probably within a few days after I get back, I'm going to be gone for a week. And... Just a few days after I get back, I should be able to start moving my stuff in. is almost dry and I'm going to cut that wet part out. Okay, I'm going to do a little work on this. I can at least fold over the edges. I was thinking just just cutting that out but I'm wondering if I want to fold that over also I'm gonna say no <laughs> just because I don't want to hopefully it'll look all right let's try it Maybe I should fold it over because I'm having trouble cutting that straight. But I, I already cut that, so can't. The paper's a little damp. That's okay. That's going to be fine. I'm going to try a different knife.
Okay. Actually, I didn't have to cut out the back. I'm just going to put a picture on it. It doesn't have to have the back cut out. So I'll remember that for the next one that I do. Let's see if I can wipe some of that extra Mod Podge off. that dry. Then I'll do some inking on it and put a picture in it. Put that pin in it. <clears throat> this one's getting close to being dry. The 8x8 paper I'm using is paper that was sent to me by Julie Mangold a long time ago. And I didn't, there was no packaging on it. She sent me a huge box full of stuff. And I loved this paper. It's got all these old photos and collage on it. And I don't know where it came from. It, it looks like Seven Gypsies to me, but I don't know that. I don't know. But I love it. So I decided to stop hoarding it and use it. So I'm making four um, of these little journals with it. <clears throat> so let's do this one. Let's put the moth on this one. got a whole bunch of these so I'm using those for the backs behind the behind the slide see if I can find a little bit bigger piece of coffee dyed tracing paper because that piece is really a little more narrow than I'd like. There's a piece but it looks just as narrow. Of course these are just the scraps so I got this. Oh that'd be cool. Maybe I'll use this coffee dyed glassine paper because it's bigger. It was craft color and then coffee dyed. I got it from Selena.
might put some more more little things on there before we're done, but it's a start. I'll use Mod Podge to fold it back. That's too messy. I'll just use glue stick. I'm just going back, back and forth as these things dry. So this is the one that's going to be on the front. Cutting on my paper pad instead of my cutting mat. Just because I forgot to switch it. I don't have slide mounts in my shop anymore. I sold them all. And I started out with, I think, I think 2,000, but I kept some for myself because I, I had two boxes and I think there were 1,000 in each box. That's pretty, isn't it? the other one. Oh, it's down here. So I have two. <coughs> Those had extra Mod Podge, so they're still wet. One more to pick out. Let the cover of this one go. There it is. So this one is going to be this young lady.
This is on tea bag. Just crumple it up back there. Okay, so we've got to start on the doilies and linens that I want to put on the fronts of those. Let's see if I can work on one of these now. I was thinking I would put this in there and then just tie a string or something on it just to give it a little interest. These are Tim Holtz stick pin type of things. I don't know what they were actually called, but they're not in his um, they're not they're not in the stores anymore. This is glossy accents. That's what I like to use when I'm gluing metal. Well, I can't close that until I put her in there. should have put glue not just on the picture but all over this. <clears throat> Sorry. There we go. There's that. Um, I was going to ink. Didn't do that. This one is walnut stain darker than what I normally ink with, but I think I'll, I'll like it on this. Unfortunately, I didn't do around the inside part of the frame. Hoping I have some interesting string. I've got this, it's got gold on it. I've got 
that one. I think I like that one. Oh, and I have this one. I think we'll just use this one. This is kind of like a really thin jute. It came from Stampin' Up! in a, a kit, a little card making kit. And I didn't make the cards yet, but I'm using the jute. <laughs> How do I want to tie it? I did something wrong there. Got a band-aid on my finger, so I fumble thing fumble fingers more than normal. Why does it keep going down there? All right, I'm going to try it a different way. <laughs> I'm just going to tie a knot in it. Sorry. This isn't fun to watch, is it? The jute is so curly from being wrapped on that tiny little tube. I'm having a little trouble manipulating it. I didn't know how short I want to cut that, so I didn't cut it very short yet. I think that's going to be a really cool cover. All kinds of things you can do with these slide mounts. If you have slides, you can open them and take the slides out, take the film out, and just make your own slide empty slide mounts. So I will glue the moth in first and then I'll glue the stick in.
So anyway, I told you that I saw my house today and it is a very light gray with really pale gray with um, the burgundy shutters. And I love burgundy, so it looks really nice. I'm very happy with how it looks on the outside. Make sure he's lined up the way I want him. I want him down a little bit lower. Down a little bit lower. Let's try this. Okay. Now I will put the stick in there. It's a little split loop at the top of this, so you could actually stick something in there. It's a little tight, but... If you... You know, there's fun things you can do with those sticks. if you can find them anywhere. I'm not going to tie the string on that just yet. I think I'm going to start. Well, I, I'm going to use my sewing machine, I think, to sew this stuff down. And I'm not at my sewing machine. So, I'll do that in another video or I'll just do it on my own. Let's see how these are coming. Oh yeah. We can do some work on these. This video is almost over. keep going on to the slide instead of the tissue. I didn't cut these corners at an angle because I thought it made it harder. I just fold it in like that. Once again, you guys did great helping me get rid of some de-stash. Hopefully you will find all kinds of fun things to create with the packages when they come. I'm going to schedule them to be picked up tomorrow morning because 
um, two of the boxes are 14 pounds. So I might as well make the post, my mail carrier do the work. But they're all packaged and labeled and everything, so they're all ready to go. This tissue does tear at, at the seam there when I close it. So really, if you just wanted to make a frame, cut a frame out of chipboard, you don't need the back part. Just completely cover it, you know, like that. And just, just cover it like that and you won't have the back part. And just put a picture in there. But I have the slide mount, so I figured I'd use them. You get the idea of what I'm doing, I'm sure, now. Oh, I didn't realize that there was writing on that. I'll have to put some lace up there. Of course, that's the, the side I'm going to use because the red printing shows through on that side. Let's do it on this side. to get some snow tonight. I hope it's not a lot. I'm supposed to work in the morning and I have a long driveway and I don't want to shovel it. Makes my back hurt and then I don't want to go to work when I make my back hurt. spent yesterday with my sisters. I was there for about three and a half hours and we needed that time. I don't I think it's the first time we've seen each other since Christmas. We communicate. We have a sister chat on Facebook where we communicate together on that. But we needed to get together. My the sister that hosted yesterday, her dog died. They had to put him down. That was hard. Um, they've had him for 13 years. So she's been sad, but she's okay. They're okay. We've all just been stressed and busy, so we needed this time together.
So they're all different. They all have a different um, tissue paper. So that makes it fun. This is a fun project. I'm having fun with this. Okay, I'm going to call it quits for the video. I'm going to go ahead and glue these together with the pin after I turn the camera off. But thank you for hanging out with me for a little while. I'm sorry I was so quiet, but I have days like that. <laughs> I hope you didn't mind, and I hope that you enjoyed seeing these fun things to do with slide mounts. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.